In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add totals to your stacked column charts. Here I have data from 2014 to 2017 on personnel at work that is split by region. And I want to insert a stacked column chart. So I just have to highlight it, go to insert and click on stacked column chart. I'll just make some minor adjustment to this. So let's add the chart title. Let's remove the grid lines and bring the legend to the top. I normally prefer it on the top. Format legend and switch it to the top. You can even increase the plot area. What I also want to do is bring the bars a bit closer together. So right mouse click on any of these stacks go to format data series and reduce the gap width. So I'll go with 90 here. And now to add the data labels, I'm just going to click on the stacks. So this is the bottom stack and add the data labels to this, the middle stack, add data labels and for the last one. Okay. So now how do I bring the data labels for the total values on top here? Well, the first thing that you need to do is to add a new series to this. So anything you want to bring into a chart needs to be numbers, right? Because on a chart, you always define the position of your series. So I need the numbers and I need to bring them in. So first of all, I have to add the total here to my table. And that's basically the sum of all the regions per year. And now I have to bring it in the chart. So I'm just going to right mouse click somewhere, go to select data, add series names, always give your series a name so that you can click on them or you can find them later. And the values are these. Okay. And that's okay. So by default, it's thinking that I'm adding another stack to it, right? And it's doing the right thing, but I don't want a stack. So I just have to go back and change the series chart type of my total series of this last one from a stack column to, what do you think? To the XY scatter. So this way I get points. I get markers on there. The thing about this right now is that the position of the marker is actually my total va value, right? So all I have to do is select the markers and you see, I can't really select them. It's difficult. Whenever it gets difficult to select something in the chart, just activate the chart series options and go here from this drop down, select the series that you want to format. So that's the total series. And to this series, I want to add data labels. And now I have to click on the data labels because I want to format them. I don't want them to decide. I want them to actually be on top and I'm going to go and put them right above. Now, while I'm there, let's just make them bold and make them bigger. I can remove this right now. All I have to do is hide these markers. So again, I can't select them properly. I'm going to go to the drop down, select the total series, the original series now, not the data labels, and I'm going to hide them. You can hide them from here. I'm used to going here and saying that I don't want to have a shape fill and no shape outline. Okay, so they are gone. Now my legend, I just click on it, click on it again to select the total because I don't want anyone to see that. I'm going to delete it. That was it. That's how you can add totals to your stacked columns. This is all dynamic. So let's just test by changing the America 2017. Let's change it to 500. Okay, the total changes, the stacks change. So in the next lecture, what I'm going to show you is how you can bring in the legends into your chart. Okay, so instead of having them like this, to have Europe sitting right here, America sitting here and Asia sitting there. And we're going to do this in a dynamic way so that if America gets bigger, our label automatically moves with it. Okay, because we don't want to just bring in text boxes. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video.